Have your attention, order. It's with a heavy heart that I rise to inform members of my resignation as Speaker of the House of Commons. It has been my greatest honour as a parliamentarian to have been elected by you, my peers, to serve as the Speaker of the House of Commons for the 43rd and 44th Parliament. I have acted as your humble servant of this House, carrying out the important responsibilities of this position to the very best of my abilities. I would like to thank you, my colleagues, for your support and for your collegiality during my term as Speaker. This House is above any of us. Therefore, I must step down as your Speaker. I reiterate my profound regret for my error in recognizing an individual in the House during the joint address to Parliament of President Zelensky. That public recognition has caused pain to individuals and communities, including the Jewish community in Canada and around the world, in addition to survivors of Nazi atrocities in Poland, among other nations. I accept full responsibility for my actions. My resignation is effective at the end of the sitting day tomorrow, Wednesday, September 27th, to allow preparations for the election of a new speaker. Until that time, the deputy speakers will chair the House proceedings. Thank you. Merci. Uh, the speaker, speaker has uh, acknowledged his mistake uh, and has apologized, uh, but this is something that is deeply embarrassing to the Parliament of Canada and by extension to all Canadians. Uh, I think particularly of Jewish MPs and all members of the Jewish community across the country who are uh, celebrating Yom, or commemorating Yom Kippur today. Uh, I think it's going to be really important that all of us push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation, and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine, uh, as uh, we did last week with announcing uh, further measures to stand with Ukraine in uh, Russia's illegal war against it. Mr. Speaker, the question was for the Prime Minister, because indeed it is the Prime Minister's sole responsibility to guarantee the diplomatic success of major world leaders who come to this country. It is the Prime Minister whose government is responsible for both security and diplomatic vetting of everyone that comes in close proximity of a foreign leader on Canadian soil, particularly a foreign leader who is at war. The government has now admitted that they vetted everyone who was in attendance uh, that day. Will the Prime Minister apologize for having vetted this individual and letting him come anyway? It was inevitable, clearly. Antony Rota could hardly have continued as Speaker of the House of Commons in Canada after inviting an officer of the SS unit of the Nazi regime into the House, praising him as now some great Canadian hero and setting off a standing applause for him. Rota quit as Speaker on Tuesday. He says he did not know of the Nazi antecedents of the officer Jaroslav Hanka when he made a hero of him within Parliament. Rota had apologized on Monday over that huge faux pas made in Parliament on Friday. He apologized a second time and at first he refused to quit but following a meeting that was held between party members in Ottawa on Tuesday it became clear to him or was made clear to him that he had no choice but to leave and he could not expect to continue. Members of Prime Minister Trudeau's cabinet, members of the Liberal Party and opposition lawmakers seemed agreed in demanding that he step down. Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie declared the mistake totally unacceptable and she said there is no alternative for the Speaker but to quit and so he did that within about a couple of hours of her saying so and the others demanding this. He then proceeded to tell Parliament that he's stepping down and once again conveyed his profound regret. But there, the matter has not ended. The storm over the invitation to that former soldier, now all of 98 years old, may not have died down yet at all. The opposition is demanding to know how the speaker and the vetting process all failed. How it is that officials from the parliament and from the government did not know about the background of this person 
who was made a hero within parliament, why they did not then brief the speaker about this. A lot of the uh, criticism now is aimed at the government. The opposition is going for this as the government's failure more even than the speaker's personal ignorance. That, of course, is now well recognized. Opposition Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev has decided and demanded rather that at the least uh, Trudeau must apologize to the House. And now questions have begun to hover above Hanka himself. The question over what he was doing in the House of Commons has now progressed to the question what he is doing in Canada. Poland's Education Minister uh, Shame Swav Charnek has said that he has taken steps now towards seeking extradition of Hanka. Members of the unit Hanka worked uh, with uh, have been accused of killing Polish civilians and Jewish people. Hanka himself has not been found guilty through any inquiry or investigation process so far, but Poland seems now set on reopening an investigation into that unit and into Hanka.